Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this morning I wanted to film a get ready with me video. I've never done this before. I'm a little bit nervous about it. I have all of my stuff here. I brought my camera down or my phone down to my bar. So I'm sitting in kind of our great room, um, sitting at our island because I've got really good natural light down here and I've got some lights above. It's really the best lit place in the house. So Hopefully the lighting will be okay. I have my mirror right here so I can see what I'm doing. So if I keep looking down that way, um, I'm looking at my mirror, but I do have all of my makeup here. I have my coffee. So today is one of my office days at home. So I was just I'm not gonna do a ton of makeup, just a little bit some of something. I do have um, my youth church youth group today after school and I have about 18 kids in that. So. On Wednesdays, I like to just kind of get up, get dressed, get ready, and I do have a hair appointment around lunchtime so to get my bangs trimmed. So I did want to put on a little makeup, nothing crazy. I uh, just have on my nice warm cardigan, leggings. It's currently 31 degrees outside, so we're still really cold here in North Carolina uh, right now. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get a little bit warmer over the next couple weeks. But anyway, let's just get into it. So I have already um, done my skincare. So I washed my face, uh, toned. I've been using the Julep Booster Radiance Facial Oil. I've been mixing in a little bit of that with my moisturizer. So I put that on and then I've just been letting it sit. I like to put my skincare on and then I like to just kind of let it sit and sink into my skin. That way I'm not, my skin isn't like super tacky or anything when I'm putting on my makeup. So that's what I've done so far. I'm not a huge fan of primers. I don't use primer a lot on my skin. I don't use foundation primer hardly ever. I just do the oil, um, the facial oil, and that's about it. So now I'm ready to go in with my makeup. So I did get a new foundation, and I'm just going to kind of chat with you guys. It'll be super chatty and casual, and I'm going to keep drinking coffee because Lord knows with this daylight savings time, I hate Day if you hate daylight savings time, comment below. I hate daylight savings time. Seriously, I wish we would just leave it alone. Like, leave it. Especially with kids. So, it's hard enough to get my son up normally um, for school. But then when the time changes, it is absolutely brutal. Like, I absolutely hate it. So, we just switched our time, daylight savings time, as you guys know, just a few days ago. So, we're still kind of getting acclimated to it. Um, so... I'm drinking copious amounts of coffee at this point. This is seriously, I hate to admit this, but that's my third cup. All right, so I got a new foundation, um, recommendation of Jam Beauty, and I love to watch Jessica. Oh my gosh, she's one of my favorite YouTubers, favorite channels, but she really loves this foundation. It's the It Cosmetic Celebration Foundation Illumination. Now, I will say that I have tried the it cosmetic CC cream that everybody absolutely loves and raves about. It does not do well on my skin. I have combination oily, um, so I'm kind of oily here and here, and it just by the end of the day, I I'm a mess. So I don't really like that. I've tried it several times. I love the smell of it though, and I do like some of the other it cosmetics products. I used to, I'm just going to go ahead and get into this. So, I used to wear um, powder foundation all the time. So, years ago, that's all I wore was powder foundation. That's all I wore. Um, you know, kind of college through, um, you know, when I first got married years ago, I never wore liquid foundation ever. Uh, and I liked, I liked powder foundation. I was a big Bare Minerals Um advocate I love their powder foundations and so that's all I wore then I kind of started going more toward I wanted a little bit more full coverage started going toward the more the liquid foundations and just kind of forgot about powder foundation and I forgot how much I enjoyed it so if you can hear my cat I've put him up so he doesn't bother us but that noise may bother us even more I may end up having to let him out he's in his little He's actually in the laundry room, which is right off of the kitchen. Um, anyway, so, hold on just a second. Let me go let him out. Hold on. Okay, so I let him out, which means that he's probably going to start climbing everywhere again. Anyway, it's fine. So, 
back to the foundation. So I used to use powder foundation all the time. Went back and got into the um, like liquid foundation and <clears throat> really wanted to just give powder foundation another try. It's been so long since I've used it. I'm like, you know, I used to really love it and I love the way it looked on my skin. So that's what I'm doing. So this is the shade light and so I've used this twice already. This is the third time. The first time I used it, I, when I got it, I put it on over top of um, the Sikapair, the Dr. Dark Sikapair cream. I put it on over top of that and I really liked the way that looked. Um, I used it yesterday and I don't know if I maybe didn't let my skincare sink in long enough or like what happened, but it, it ended up separating a little bit like through here and uh, it didn't look the best yesterday. So today I thought I would try it without any of the Dr. Jart um, Sikapair cream underneath and just see how that works out. So that's what I'm doing. And the cat's up here, I told you he would be. But I don't like him on the bar, so I'm gonna get him down. No, Darth, no, get down, get down. We have a squirt bottle for our cat because I don't want my cat on my counters. I don't want him on the um, like couch and stuff, but I cannot, I do not want him on the, um, the kitchen counters. I cannot stand that, it drives me crazy. So, okay. So now I've got my foundation done and I think it looks really good. I'm looking up at the, I've got a mirror right here. I like it. I like it better this morning without the Dr. Jar underneath. So now I'm going to go in with my concealer. Um, I do the Bobbi Brown Corrector. So I have light bisque and I just got this recently. I just started using it. And man, I like this stuff. It is so good. It does such a good job on my under eye of like, are you, do you see my cat? He's like attacking my head. No, Darth. Um, it does such a good job of covering my under eye. And I actually bring this up onto my lid too. I have really, really veiny um, eyelids. So this just really kind of cancels all of that out. And yeah, really love this stuff. So far, like I can't, I don't know what took me so long to, um, what took me so long to start using this, but I really, really love it. And since I've been doing this, I haven't even used an eyeshadow primer. Like I just do that and I put it all over and pat it in with my fingers. I love using my fingers for certain things under my eyes. Um, sorry, it looks like I'm getting a reflection back from my mirror. Okay, maybe that's better. Sorry if the lighting's wonky. Okay, so my concealer, I'm going in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and this is in the Brightener shade. Uh, I go back and forth. I have both this one and the light, uh, or maybe fair. I think it's fair. I have this shade and the fair, and I kind of go back and forth between the two. I like them both. So there's that. And then I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques Little Baby Sponge and just press all that in under my eyes and blend it in down, kind of down underneath. So it is still freezing cold here. Um, we had like almost 80 degree weather a couple weeks ago and now it's ridiculously cold again. Absolutely drives me crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Cody Airspun and I just like to set my under eye with this. Um, it's really, really good. But I will tell you guys, it is messy. I mean, like, ooh, messy. So you have to, you know, kind of be careful with it. But I'm going to go in. A lot of times I'll bake my under eye. But since I'm using the powder foundation today, I didn't really want to bake my under eye. I think I'm just going to go in with a little bit of this underneath my eye. And this is the e.l.f. blush brush. And I love this for just going right underneath your eye. You can just kind of sweep it away like that. And I just pick up a tiny amount of that powder 
and just kind of sweep it underneath my eye. Like that. My under eyes look terrible today because of just getting up early and no sleep. Okay, so there is that. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I like that. I'm gonna go a little bit of that fell out down underneath. Sweep some of that away. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my blush. And the thing with the um, that foundation, the Celebration Foundation, the Illumination version, is that it looks very kind of um, dewy, I guess, even though it's a powder foundation. So, and especially today, since I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot, get down, Darth, since I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot as far as, I mean, I don't really want it to look crazy or anything, I'm not gonna do any kind of highlighter. Um, I am gonna go in with a bronzer, and this is the uh, Butter Bronzer, and it's in light. And I, this is my absolute favorite bronzer. Um, I can really go in with it. I don't feel like I have a super heavy hand with it. And it just really kind of adds a little bit to that foundation and warms everything up. Just gives it a little bit, my face a little bit more, you know, something, something. And um, I did go with the light Celebration Foundation because I have started self-tanning already. And I will pretty much self-tan the rest of the, like, spring and summer. So that's why I went ahead and went with the light color versus the I think there's a fair there's one right underneath that but I really didn't I thought that would be too fair and I think I was right because the light actually blends really well with because I'm self tanning so the the light color actually looks really good right now on, on my skin so all right so I did a little bit of bronzer not much at all just enough to warm up my face a little bit and now I'm going to go in with the blush. And I'm actually using, it's a Z palette. And this is the um, Makeup Geek Blush in Spellbound. I got this the recommendation of Jaclyn Hill years ago. And I love this blush. I've been trying to shop my sash and pick out some things that I haven't been wearing a lot. And this was one of them. And I, I forgot how much I love it. When I first got it, I wore it every single day. And then I kind of got out of, you know, move on to other things. And I was cleaning out my some of my makeup drawers the other day and pulled this out. I'm like, man, I forgot about that. And I've actually got three Makeup Geek shadows in here as eyeshadows as well. I'm not going to use those today. I'm just going to use a cream shadow. Um, a new one, actually, that I got. I've been wanting to show you guys. So um, I'm going to go in with my blush. And this is Spellbound. I'm just going to put a little bit. Again, this is another e.l.f. blush brush. I have two of these. So one of them I use for... Um, powder and then one I use for blush. So I'm going to go in with this. That's right on my cheeks. And if you can hear like water running and I've got laundry going, I've got my dishwasher going, I've got like, all those things going. So So there's the blush. I love that blush. It's so pretty and it's just really a natural kind of blush and I just think it looks really nice. I'm just going to blend that out a little bit more. There. All right. So that's it for blush and bronzer. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. You found my eyebrow pencil. All right. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Brow Precise Crayon. I'm almost out of this one. I bought the NYX one. I mean, you can see I've only got a little bit. I bought the NYX one in taupe the last time I was at Ulta. I did an Ulta haul. And I've got it on standby. But I'm going to use this one up before I start using it. So, um, And what I like to do over here is I actually comb my brows down. I learned this trick from Elisa Eldridge um, tutorial. So what she does is she... Let me pull that down a little bit. She combs her brow, the brows down. And then draws, you know, you draw your line, fill in whatever you want with your brows combed down. And then, just kind of, you know, however you want. And I have really sparse brows on this side. So, I draw my line, kind of 
kind of fill it in. And then just go in and fill it in like that. And then then when you comb them up, it looks super natural and you can't you can't see the line at all. And I just think it looks so pretty. So that's how I do my brows. And then I come over on the edge and just kind of fill them in. And I don't pluck my brows a lot. The only place that I pluck my brows, I never pluck the top. So the only place I pluck is like underneath right here. Just to kind of give me, because I do not have a natural arch at all on my brows. So I have to, sorry, I got a call. Call came in. Okay, so there's that brow done. And now I'm gonna comb this side down and do this side. So, let's see here, like this, so my husband and I, we just opened a um, wine shop in our town, and uh, we have our grand opening this weekend. It's We've been open for about a month, but... Um, we, we just did kind of a soft opening. We didn't do anything crazy because we wanted to, you know, kind of make sure all the kinks were worked out or whatever. So, our grand opening is this weekend, and I'm super excited. Um, my sister-in-law's coming in from Asheville, and my sister, I'm really, really close with my sister-in-law. Like, we're, we're really good friends, but she's one of my best friends. And uh, so I'm excited she's gonna stay with us overnight. My little guy, my little boy is so super excited. He loves his Aunt Beth. So um, I've got to get my spare bedroom. I've got to get in there and do some sheets. I've got to get, that's where kind of I put all of my, so I sell a lot of my um, used clothes on Poshmark. And that's where I put all of my like clothes that are for sale is in that spare bedroom. And it's kind of a mess. So I've got to get in there and get that cleaned out. All right, so this is the, okay, I just got this. So this is the Flower Beauty, which is um, Drew Barrymore's makeup line. Um, I get it at Walmart. This is the Eyes on the Prize Eyeshadow Chubby, and the color is on Taupe of the World. And I, you guys know, my Holy Grail Rotter Dye eye, Cream Eyeshadow is the Maybelline um, Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. That is my favorite. But I was at Walmart and I saw this on the clearance aisle and there was all kinds of makeup on the clearance aisle at Walmart. It was pretty awesome. So I saw this and um, two other ones that I'm gonna use. I'll show you both from the Flower Beauty line. And I really, really like them. This one is not as pigmented. It's not as shimmery as the Bad to the Bronze, but I kind of like that for just an everyday makeup look like this. The Bad to the Bronze, you can actually smoke that out and make that look really, really fancy. This one, you really can't do that with. You would have to add something to it, but for an everyday look like this, I really, really like it. So, I'm going to put it on my, just kind of put it on my eyelid all over like this. It, this really is, is very, um, flat it does not have any really any shimmer to it whatsoever um but again i kind of like that because just for an everyday look and then i take it down take it down kind of underneath my eye too does anybody else make a stupid face when you're doing your eyes like i don't know how to not do that okay so then i'm going to do the other one i mean it's so fast like it's just so quick and you just kind of roll it over your eyelid and then I take my finger and just kind of blend it in a little bit. It's so just easy and not fussy. And again, this one is very um, matte. It's not gonna have, I mean, there's not, it's not nearly as pigmented as the Maybelline one, but I kind of like it and it's very smooth and it stays on all day. I'm pretty impressed. And this was on clearance at Walmart for like two bucks. I'm not even joking, it was like $2. Um, okay, now I'm gonna go in. This is another Flower Beauty. Uh, this is the That's So Coal, Coal Eyeliner. And I don't see a color on it. Hold on, That's So Coal, Coal Eyeliner. 
yeah I don't see a color but it's like a highlighting shade kind of a I don't really even know what you call it and it's got a little smudger on this end I haven't really used that but what I've been doing is going in like right on the the inner corner and then kind of up a little bit onto my eyelid just a little and then down a little bit and it just gives it a little bit of something on that your lid right there I just think that's really pretty it's just kind of subtle it's like for an everyday it's not fancy again I just I really really like that all right and then another Drew Barrymore flower beauty another of the coal pencils and this one is um, hmm, this one's like a chocolate brown and it's an eyeliner so the other one was an eyeliner too it wasn't a, a my, uh, geez, an eyeshadow but I use it as an eyeshadow there in the inner corner so this one is kind of a chocolate brown and it is so creamy it is so creamy for an eyeliner and I love that it's kind of fat because if you want that kind of a fat eyeliner look this is a really great job so I just go in around I mean look at that I'm barely touching like barely touching my eyelid and it just gives such a pretty like line on your eye I really really like that I think it looks really pretty and then this one so these do not have a sharpener so once they get really flat you would have to use a sharpener with them but so far I really really like that and then I'm going to go in just kind of underneath my brow bone. I'm going to take, this is a, I think it's a Coastal Sense. Just a, I use this under my brow bone. And then I'm using the uh, Naked 2 Basics in the color Skimp. And I just take that and put it right above, right on my brow bone. Nothing crazy. And then I take the color Stark right here with that same brush and I just kind of blend it where that cream shadow ended just that way there's not a there's not a line right there and this color I use all the time for a transition shade or just to blend in it's such a great color it's the same color as my eyelid so it works really well okay so there's that now I'm going to curl my lashes and I hate my lash curler, seriously. I do not like this lash curler. But I just have not broken down and gotten a new one. This is the Revlon one. I need to get, everybody talks about the Tweezerman one, that it's really, really good. And I just need to break down and get that one because that one is, I don't like it. And then I'm going to go in with my mascara. And I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Waterproof. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite mascaras, and it's drugstore. I'm not gonna do lashes today. I usually do lashes, but I'm not gonna do lashes today. It's just not the day for it, and I'm not gonna be seeing anybody or doing anything crazy other than getting my hair done, and my hair salon is super relaxed, so half the time I show up in like leggings and a t-shirt. Um, a little bit down here and I'm super excited after I film this and do my hair I'm actually going to be filming a transcend I got my transcend yesterday I did not get home till late last night well I say late but it was it was about eight o'clock um, because with baseball practice and just all kinds of things and then I didn't want to cook so we ended up going out to eat Mexican and by the time we got home it was like 8 o'clock so um, anyway uh, when I got home my transcend was waiting on my deck and I was so excited 
so I'm really excited to film that because I haven't opened it and I'm like Neh. I'm really excited okay so all of that's done now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the Mario Badescu uh, facial spray and this is the one with aloe cucumber and green tea I really want to get the one with rose hip I really love rose hip uh, but I got this one at the recommendation of well several people have recommended it but Emily uh, Noel and so I really I've been wanting to try this I got this smaller one just to see if I liked it because I have been using the Mac fix plus just to kind of finish everything out but I really like this one um yeah but I think I'm going to try the rose one next but I'll definitely finish it out I mean I think it, it really does make your skin look super refreshed and glowy so going with this Especially with that powder foundation, I feel like using a spray like that just to kind of set everything down really makes a huge difference. So I just let that dry. Just kind of let that settle in and dry. All right, guys, you want to see something crazy? When I take my bangs down, it is like I look like a cockatoo half the time. I did spray my hair with, like, dry shampoo before I started this video, so when I took my hair down, it wouldn't look like such a hot mess. But, yeah, so I'm going to get my bangs trimmed today. Um, my hair, the girl that does my hair, she's amazing. And she, if you have bangs with her, like, she doesn't charge you to trim your bangs. Like, you just go by there and... Whenever she's got a minute, she'll just trim them. But she's so busy because she's so awesome that even for just a bang trim, I have to make an appointment. And a lot of times I can't even get in for that. So I'm going to get my bangs trimmed. And I'm going to get them, see how long they are? Like, I like them longer, but once they get to a certain point, it's like, okay, they're driving me crazy. So I'm going to get them just barely trimmed. Like, I want them a, like right to hit right in the middle of my eyebrow pretty much I don't want them above my eyebrows so I think I got them cut a little too short last time and it wasn't her fault I was the one that told her to cut them shorter um it if you cut them shorter it's less time more time in between the actual appointments but I think they looked a little last time and I like them a little bit longer so all right guys that is it I am finished I'm going to go brush my hair and then I'm going to film my Transcend video. I hope you guys like this. I hope it wasn't too random. I mean, I know I don't have the best lighting or anything, but I really wanted to film a get ready with me. I think it's fun to just see what everybody puts on and how they, the techniques they use. I mean, I'm by no means a makeup artist at all, but day to day, I mean, I think my makeup looks okay. So yeah, that's really it. And I left out one thing. Um, I do use the Sarah Hap lip slip. I have a little bit of that on right now, but I've been drinking coffee. So usually what I do is after I exfoliate my lips in the morning, I just put some of this on and this is all I'll wear throughout the day. So this is my natural lip color. And I'll just put that on and it really um, just accentuates your natural lip color. I think it looks really great. So I'll just, um, I have one of these in my makeup drawer and I also have one in my purse that I carry around. So I'll just use that throughout the day. But that is it guys. I hope you have a great day and stay tuned because I'm getting ready to film my Transcend video. Bye!